a lot of people. You are so glad to have the 2016 elections behind us. But if you're in Burlington County, more specifically in Chesterfield, you can't shake the local race, especially when it ends in a tie. Fox 29's Hank Flynn has the story. I want to say the 16th of December. Um, from that date, statute dictates, I think it's between 45 and 50 days, the special election has to take place. Look what you bought yourselves, Chesterfield. You voted. November 8th, you split down the middle on two township committee candidates. It's a tie, dead even. When's the do-over? Burlington County Clerk Tim Tyler is waiting to hear from Chesterfield. Somebody right. would come down here and say, look, special election is going to happen. You know, between the municipality and the Board of Elections, they would decide what that date is. Tell us, tell the superintendent how many machines they need. Tell us to make ballot faces for those, I mean, machine faces for that. And then we would have an election. The deadlock candidates are incumbent Republican Ron Kolchinsky and Democrat challenger Rita Romeu. They're tied at around 1,300 votes. I love the light out here in this part of New Jersey. It feels like four o'clock for like three hours at a time. Chesterfield is farm country, beautiful in the late afternoon. But when the town center is really just the Chesterfield general store, who do you talk politics? Politics with Ray Lubick. That's who he says a tie. That's just local politics. I mean, it's, it's easy enough for one candidate to, you know, swing half the votes and the other candidate to swing the other half the votes. It's not that unusual. I mean, I mean, a lot of times the votes are, you know, 49 to 51 percent, so you're not talking that many votes. It's easy to know the candidates in a town of about 7,700, says Ray, a farmer who was born and raised in Chesterfield. He's a Republican, but he says he votes for people he knows and trusts, regardless of a affiliation he says his neighbors do too all i can tell you about is it's a nice friendly town and, and and politics doesn't seem to get like you know real dirty around here like it can be on the you know on the larger level sure um, and sometimes it's more a popularity contest than anything else only because who you know and, and, and what's going on. And Ray's right about closed votes. A Salem County freeholder elect won this year by one vote, and there's another tie in New Jersey in Middlesex County for the office of Monroe Township Council. Hank Flynn, Fox 29 News.